18 drivers, drivers from when they get their license and permit until they turn 21, uh, have some of the highest uh, rates of crashes on our roadways. For most teens, seeing what it's like to make a last minute turn at high speeds or driving out of the influence happens when it's far too late and consequences are life changing. By doing this, we're trying to reduce uh, injuries and deaths. Um, and the way that we're doing this today is helping them simulate a lot of things that they otherwise won't normally see on the roads. There are five stations. The first inside with the virtual reality to simulate driving. Outside is where all the action took place. It's enough to make any parent of a teen just a little nervous. Uh, courses right behind us are an invasive course. Uh, which it shows the driver at the last minute has to make a decision to turn right or left and it teaches them how to steer out of a situation instead of like breaking or locking up the brakes. Pay attention to the road and really slow down. I mean that especially with teenagers because teenagers they, they just get their license. They want to go fast. A lot of people want to go fast. There was also a station to simulate blind spots, skidding and even a chance to experience fatal vision goggles to feel the effects of being an impaired driver. After the first year we conducted rule of the road, driving uh, crashes re were reduced by 33% for the ages 15 to 18. The last four years it's reduced from 8 to 10%. So we're seeing a reduction in each and every year we do this. In Seymour, Stefan Dingle, WLKY News.